Now, if a traditional uh, Christmas pudding doesn't float your boat, then Lidl brand ambassador Paul Flynn is here in the kitchen with a festive alternative. Well, it's an ice cream cake. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is, it a lot, is it a lot heavier than the pudding? No, it's lighter. Yeah. That, and that's, yeah. I think, what's attractive about this is that because it's not as heavy, do you know, you tend to overindulge when it comes to Christmas. And, uh, you know, after the turkey, whatever else might be going on, you might not want a big heavy dessert. So this is a lovely alternative. But what I do want to do, I want to tell you, is that it's very little, there's no cooking in it. In fact, this okay. is just whipped cream. Or new whipped cream. Or new whipped cream, no sugar, no, no nothing. It's not double is, cream or anything? It's whipping cream, which it's is whipping. much lighter, actually, because okay. as you know, I'm very conscious of... You are. You know, the old tum-tum. That's why we like you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is just break meringue nests, shop-bought yeah. meringue nests. You know, they, 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 they have them in Lidl, they're the, fantastic. Mm -hmm. There'll be lovely sweetness after them. Lovely sweetness, <clears> and that's something to, to bear in mind as well, because what I want are big bits, small bits. The whole lot. Crunchy bits, the whole lot. Don't mind, this isn't really a recipe as, as sort of a technique. And more mix, than anything and mix else. Mix and gather them. Mix and gather them. What I love about this as well, Dahi, is that this doesn't have to be served with plums. Today I'm serving yeah. it with plums in a very Christmassy, elegant way. And can you make this the night before? Making it the night before is the best it's thing the to only, do. Yeah. A couple of hours in the freezer yeah. is what it needs definitely, but make it the night before. But what I particularly love it with is actually it's a lovely summertime cake yeah. with strawberries or raspberries over the top. Oh, and lovely. it's fantastic for kids' parties. Mm -hmm. And really all you have to remember is just like get the meringue. So into, this, into the this cream. is going to be the ice cream. This part. is going this to be the, the ice cream, cream part, part of it. There's okay. no ice cream machine, there's no, no complicated with it. There's it's no just custard. whipped cream and, and these yeah. broken into it. And lash the meringues into yeah. the cream. Okay, will I help you out there, will I? Do. Okay. Would you do a bit of stirring for me? Okay, okay will you? Yeah. And what I have inside in the oven, and it took a, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, depends on how ripe the plums are. Yeah. I've just cooked some plums with a couple of bay leaves or thyme. I love putting yeah. herbs with fruit. I just, it, it just adds this little bit of mystery. Doesn't taste weird, no? It doesn't taste weird. I hope not, anyway. It hasn't seen <laughs> me, I, I hasn't seen me in the wrong, uh, yeah. the wrong path so far, anyway. I, I, it's just a little bit different, and I love it. And all you want to do, see the meringue? Yeah. Is just actually fold it through the yeah. cream, and you don't want to have loads and loads of cream. It'll just, it'll take, in fact, it'll take all of this, not yeah, to worry. No bother. So there's nothing, but, but the there's nothing the cream will it. soak into it, will it? The cream will soak into it, and what we're going to do is freeze it. Okay. I have a pudding bowl over here. Okay. Right, and what we're going to do, we're going to mix everything in. I'll do that if you okay, don't mind. Okay, good man, yeah, because obviously I'm not doing it. No, you're correctly. doing it. It was the old anti-clockwise. You know, that was fantastic. I really noticed that. It was great. Anti-clockwise? Uh, it doesn't matter uh, 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 at what all. What are you saying no, Paul? Just spit it out. Oh, I'm just saying that, like, you have a lovely wrist action there now. That's all it is. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. And you need to have a nice little um, folding mechanism here. Oh, yeah. You do. I have a lovely fo folding mechanism. You yeah. Do. Obviously, it wasn't the correct one, though. OK, no, absolutely not. Listen, you just have to be a little bit fast. Yeah. That's all. So this goes in here, and you'll notice that I've lined the bowl with some uh, cling film. Yeah, why? But that only helps you get it out. That's the uh, only reason. With more ease, okay. that's all. That's the only reason. So look, we've loads here. So that goes, that goes into the freezer? That freezer. goes into the freezer. How long does it go into the freezer? For it goes in overnight, preferably. Okay. Now, if anybody wants, you know, confirmation of all of this, it's this recipe and loads more of my Christmas recipes are in the Lidl brochure, which yeah. is out in the stores tomorrow. Yes. So, with the Today, show, with today show written on it as well. Absolutely. So this is the one you put, it, you put this in last night? I did. Okay. And I'm going to get all fancy. Oh, okay. And what we're going to do, and this is, you know, the, the cling from really helps press everything down yeah. just like that. Okay, no mess. Where you and you go. form, thank you. Right, back put into this into the, the freezer. Do, please. Okay. okay. And then we're just going to turn this out. And again, no mess. The cling from helps you take the mould or take the ice cream out of the mould onto a lovely snazzy plate. Yeah. This is where the attention to detail comes in now. Okay. And yeah. loosen it like that. That's not nice and handy. Nice and but handy. Is it hard to take it out if we don't have the thing that Paul? Uh, it's kind of fairly impossible. No, oh, yeah. I do it. I, do. Yeah. I, I would actually do that now. Yeah. So look, over to the plums. Yeah. And these have been roasting, you know, as I said, I cooked them with a little bit of sparkling apple juice, okay. some bay leaf and some brown sugar. And that's so, all so I've you only have them? Have them, just roasted them for mm. about... I mean, the whole thing about fruit is that they, if they're a little bit harder, they're going to take a little bit longer. So yeah. recipes are absolutely only the guideline. But, but I saw you earlier on there now, Paul, when we were rehearsing. You were taking yeah. that out a few times. How many times did you take it out? Oh, I'd say about three. It's called basting. And you just basically put the juice over the, yeah. over the fruit and you put and it, it back in again. it just forms a lovely, lovely glaze. Yeah. And within a jiffy, I'm going to make this into a real sort of Christmas masterpiece, which is what I want to do. And how, and, how, and how, long, actually, how long were they inside there for? They were inside for about 20, 25 minutes, okay. and I basted them maybe twice or three times. Okay, and what, Something what, what like heat that. was it at? Uh, it was at 160. 160. Um, but you, you, know, can, you can judge it yourself anyway. I'd judge imagine. it yourself. When they're nice and soft and they start to collapse, that's yeah. what you want. And see all this lovely juice here yeah. now, Dahi? That's what you want on here. It's a lovely colour as well, isn't it? Lovely colour. I mean, you look at this colour and it's all about Christmas. Yeah. 
So on we go, now I'm just going to do some garnishing. And here I are have... We, are we technically allowed to be talking about Christmas this much in the, in the first know, week of November? I know, sure, listen, I'll tell you. I spent most of my time confused anyway. It's just, <laughs> it just helps things. These are just some red currants. Yeah. We're Again, be... we're put it, adding the Christmassy feel. The Christmassy to it. feel. Yeah. Okay, and as I cooked it with some bay leaf, yeah. we're just going to garnish with a few bay leaves. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you wouldn't be eating them. No, no, they're only there for decoration. They're only there for decoration. The green and red. And then just mayo. one last little flourish. And this is where it comes into pomegranates, they're fantastic, but people yeah. don't often know what to do with them. They taste lovely, but again, yeah. we're kind of enhancing that Christmas theme. Yeah. And this is just going to be lovely over the top. So just the juice over it. Just the juice. No, and the, and, and the, can you and eat the, the you seeds. can eat the pips and everything. You can. You can. You can. Don't eat too many. Maybe like a machine gun. That's okay. <laughs> Speaking okay. of machine guns, Mara. Okay. You called. Yes, love. <laughs> Come okay. over. So look over here. We're going to pop that there. That looks divine. So it's Isn't really. That nice now, Mara? Oh, and wow. the plate shows it up. I'm in touch. Of, I was reading the bunty. Do you just yeah, dig it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you read the bunty. Yeah. There we have it, Paul. So this is just meringue, isn't it? That's just yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Mara. Meringue, meringue and cream. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Some sort of lovely squishy. Them, food. But it looks, and you know, the thing about that is that it's mm -hmm. not too heavy. It's not heavy at all. In fact, it's very light. That's really nice. Yeah. No ice cream. That's ice cream. Uh, yeah. With that's, ice cream on the inside. That's Paul yeah. Finn homemade ice cream. Oh my god, that's amazing, Paul. Yeah. That's, that's a Paul. lovely dessert. A really good option as well. Try isn't it. It? And it's so easy. It's so oh. easy to do. I thought Paul. you could have feed me no, there. No. For a <laughs> it's not that type of show, Paul. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for being with us today. <laughs> as usual, all of Paul's <laughs> recipes and current promotional offers are available on Lidl.ie. And after the break, Dr. Susan is going to be answering your questions on postnatal depression. Yes, and later on the show, we'll be getting flexible if we stop eating this anyway with our Couch to 5K ladies, all that and a lot more after the break. See you in a minute.